my towel won't stay on. Hey guys, so as you can see, I have just got out of the shower and I started doing like my skincare routine and was about to start doing my makeup and I thought, do you know what? Stop right there. Let's do a skincare routine tutorial or not tutorial, but just kind of like talk you through the products that I use to get what I think at the moment is quite good skin. I mean, I have my good days and my bad days, but overall these products just absolutely make my skin rejuvenated and smooth and blemish free. So I know it's been requested quite a lot by some of you. So I thought that why not film it this morning? So don't mind the towel on the head and the pajamas on. Well, I suppose there's no point in doing this video when I'm fully glammed up. So you've literally got me raw out of the shower. <laughs> there are a few, oh, someone here. Emily's here. Hello? Good. They're very smart. Smart? Mm, yes. Yeah. And I look very not smart. <laughs> you can be in the video if you want. She doesn't want to be in the video. Right, where was I? So, <laughs> there are a lot of products that I use for my skincare routine. However, I'm going to talk you through some of the key products that I cannot go a day without using and are the ultimate products that I think are the reason for good skin really. So first of all, cleansing. I am obsessed <coughs> with, stop coughing in my video. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the Caroline Hirons Double Cleanse. Um, it's got a balm and a cleansing cream. It's two step and it's two step. And basically, let me show you. It's got the solid balm, oh it's very bright. It's got the solid balm on one side that literally as Caroline would say, annihilates your makeup, it melts it off and then on the other side, once you've kind of washed off your makeup, you cleanse with the, um, the more of the cream cleanser and then that leaves your face feeling ever so clean and fresh, squeaky clean and then I go on to, so this would be when I'm taking my makeup off but also I do just use like the cleansing cream in the morning to just refresh my face and then, now this is one of the most important steps and I go on about it to all my friends, I've told you guys in the past, um, but basically, if you do not exfoliate with a liquid exfoliator, then this is what you need to change. You need to do this and I use, two of my favourite ones are Pixi Glow Tonic and Alpha, Alpha H Liquid Gold. I basically think that these are like, re they resurface your skin and make it feel like fresh and new, take away any dead skin. I don't like using like harsh scrubs with the plastic beads in them because it aggravates my skin. Whereas I feel like this takes off any dead skin and yeah, I feel like it totally resurfaces my skin. So it's really important to use a liquid exfoliator and these are the best. I cannot recommend any others. Oh, I can recommend another, Clarins Brightening Exfoliator but these two are my favourites and I'll link them below. And then, so this is at night time by the way, and then, I know it's expensive, but I cannot live without it. It is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. I know it can be like about 70 pounds for a bottle. I think a, a cheaper one would be a smaller size, maybe for about 50 pounds, but it's so worth it. So you use it at night, so I would cleanse and then exfoliate and then put this on. This is like the base of, this is like the serum that goes underneath whatever layers you put on top, be it moisturiser or oils. And what this does is it allows your skin to really absorb the moisture from the creams. And yeah, you have to kind of try it to believe it. And I know some of my friends have got this recently after me recommending it and they swear by it. It's, to be honest, this was expensive. I think I got this in the airport about, God, a long time ago, maybe even a year ago, and it's still going strong. I'm a bit guilty, I haven't used it every single day, but most days I will use it, most nights rather. So that, I swear by that, and then, product that I absolutely am obsessed with, I'm obsessed with everything as you've probably gathered, um, Aurelia. The Aurelia oil, that's the Cell Repair Night Oil. I will then put this on over the top of my night repair. Remember, this is the nighttime routine. So, 
This has got like neroli, lavender, rose and mandarin and it smells so lovely. I normally put it on my hands and kind of rub them together. It says to kind of inhale and then massage into your skin which is so therapeutic. It just really does rejuvenate my skin and in the morning my skin is so fresh and plump and so smooth, it's not flaky. I'm ready to go. Another thing, so they are like my swear by products for my nighttime routine however I do mix other things in there so um, in the morning I wouldn't put the night repair serum on or the oil because I don't want my makeup sliding off however this moisturizer is incredible this is the Aurelia probiotic skincare it says cell revitalized day moisturizer I love this this is kind of like the day moisturizer to the night oil and I will cleanse my face sometimes I will I don't know why I picked up my cotton pads I cleanse my face and then I will use the pixie glow tonic and look how beautiful this bottle is by the way this was customized by pixie when I went to one of their events especially for me and I absolutely love it and I'm gonna refill that every time I need a new pixie glow tonic so then I'll put the day cream on and then I will start with a primer like I love the pixie um, skin tint gel it's got a bit of colour to it that's not really skincare so I won't go on to any further steps after that so they're kind of like my essentials can't live without always in my routine every day but I do have a few other products that I use in my routine um, maybe a couple of times a week so every time I remember I always spray this hydrating milky mist because this is by pixie by the way because this it's so light and hydrating and it just feels it just feels so so nice <laughs> and when I can't be bothered to keep applying moisturizer with my hands and layering it up and you know feeling like it's getting a little bit much I just spray a nice layer of hydrating milky mist and I feel like it's made my skin feel a little bit more hydrated. So I sometimes use that in the week. Another one is by Pixi. You can, you can tell there's a trend going on here. I love Pixi products. This is Glow Mist. This has got argan oil in it. It's a nourishing, nourishing mist, hydrant and protector. So this can be used under makeup, over makeup. It's got like an oily mix in it. And again, this just kind of makes your skin glow. So I love that also. Um, I use this as well. This is like my face mask I've been using recently and I love it. Me and Buzzy used it the other day. We were like, oh, our skin feels so smooth afterwards. This is Super Facialist by Una Brennan and this is the Salicylic Acid Anti-Blemish Pore Purifying Clay Mask. Can't believe I said that all in one take. <laughs> it really gets in the pores and I feel like my skin's really smooth after I've washed it off. I normally leave it on for about 15 minutes. So I'm loving that at the moment. I haven't tried loads of face masks, I have to be honest. So I'm going to start using more and see how I feel. And I'll update you if anything changes. One more thing. I do love Tarte products. And there's lots of skincare products from their range that I have raved about and love. But I've run out of them all at the moment. So when I need to restock. And, um, and then what I'll do is I'll tell you on Snapchat or update you if I start using them every day in my routine. But something I use every week is this little, this little thing here. This is the miniature version. I need to restock my big one. It's the Tarte Friction Stick. You've probably heard every beauty blogger go on about this, but it's honestly such a good product for exfoliation and you can use it as, a, as an exfoliator or as a mask that kind of really does cleanse your skin and yeah I feel like it really purifies the pores and when you put it on it leaves like a black mask on your face you wash it off and your skin feels the smoothest it's ever felt so I love 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 the Tarte Friction Stick too I don't think I've missed anything out I just ran downstairs because I forgot that I do use this every night as well. This is my eye cream. I don't know how I forgot about this. This is the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brighter Eye Treatment. And I put this on after I've put my Advanced Night Repair Serum on and before I put the oil on. So I just kind of rub this under my eyes 
and then I apply the night oil and then go to sleep. I don't put this on in the mornings, I only use the Aurelia day cream. I'm so out of breath. Okay, so that was everything in my skincare routine. I hope that it helped you guys out. Let me know if um, if you would suggest anything else or you've got any good mask suggestions and I'll leave all the links for the products in the box below. I'll leave some links for the UK uh, for UK followers to purchase from some sites that ship to the UK and also some links for the US and international for you guys so you can follow those because I know it's a nightmare when you're trying to search online and trying to find the, the products. So I'll do the hard work for you and leave the links down below. I haven't talked about anything to get rid of blemishes or acne. I mean, for me, I haven't really got acne prone skin. I do get a breakout in like this area here every month, the time of the month, but I normally just put a bit of pseudo cream on that. I mean, maybe it's because of my routine that my skin doesn't break out. Maybe I'm just not prone to breakouts, but um, one thing is for sure, if you want to get really smooth, plump, moisturised and hydrated skin, then you've got to go and get some of these products. Especially the exfoliator, the night repair serum and the oil because they are amazing. Oh, and I forgot to say, um, I didn't include any of my lip care routine because I have a completely separate video on that. I'll link that below and if you want to know how to get such smooth lips and no like dead skin, then go and check out my video because again, I've got loads of products that you'll love. But that's everything from me. I need to go and get ready now, sort my hair out, take this towel off my head. Me and Emily need to do some work. <laughs> Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and one, if you go and try these products, let me know in the comments section. Um, you know, come back and let me know how you got on because I'd be so interested to find out how you liked the products. So until next time beauties, love you lots. <laughs>